Hi, my dears. Glad to meet you again. Hope you're fine and happy. I'm fine and happy here. And welcome back to English class. I hope you remember AJ Crowning and the man who is looking at him, Mr. and Mrs. S. They were talking and let us listen to their talk. Okay, are you ready? Yes, take your textbook and pen with you and listen. Let us read. Okay, AJ Cronin and Mr. and Mrs. S. Yeah, John S. Okay, sixth paragraph. <clears throat> There was in his voice and manner, indeed in his whole personality, a genuine enthusiasm that was disarming. I found myself liking him instinctively. Questioning him further, I learned that he and his wife had been active for the past 15 years in the field of youth welfare. He was by profession a solicitor, but in addition to his practice at the courts, found time to act as director of charitable organization devoted to the care of boys and girls, mostly from city slums, who had fallen under the ban of the law. Okay. So, they were talking, Mr. and Mrs. John and I.J. Crowning. Listen to them. There was in his voice and manner, Voice, don't you remember voice? Yes, voice, our sound. Voice and manner, indeed, in his whole personality, indeed, really. What do you mean, indeed? Really. In his whole personality, a genuine enthusiasm, a genuine, genuine, very natural. What do you mean, genuine? Very natural. Tanadaya, Mauliga Maya, in the Genuine enthusiasm. What will be enthusiasm? An excitement. An excitement or an aviation. Enthusiasm. A genuine enthusiasm. What a natural eye or aviation. That was disarming. What was this word? What is this word? Disarming. Say, disarming. What will be disarming? Listen. Disarming means making people feel less angry than they were before. Deshi, deshi In Malayalam, let us say, Niriyayudhanyakka, lander Niriyayudhayakka. Matiyala, ingane, ingane, akramikya nai to deshi pittu dhimula nikkuya na. Pashya, avarita bhaavu, avarita perimaitevu, vinayavu, avarita we are, we became disarmed. That is the word. Disarmed. Okay. So, that was disarming. That is the matter. Okay. I found myself liking him instinctively. I found myself liking him. Now, AJ Cronin, Cronin likes him. Instinctively. What is this word? Instinctively. Once more. Instinctively. Once more. Instinctively. That means very natural. So, bhavigamayam. Instinctively. Write down the meaning. Instinctively, so bhavigamayam, very natural. So I like him instinctively. And the ulindu ulilinna, I like him. Questioning him further, I learned that he and his wife had been active for the past 15 years. Okay. Questioning him further, further, korachibudi. Korachibudi chodin jayida pol. Questioning chodin jayida. But here, just talking. Okay, police morale in a chodin jayala. Then just talking. 
Further, further, Kurchudi. I learned that he and his wife had been active for the past 15 years in the field of youth welfare. Youth welfare, welfare, chema. Youth welfare, yuvajana chema. Yuvajana ngalade chema karyengale active ayi pravati chondi rikiyana. Listen, he was by profession a solicitor. Profession, jolly. By profession, he was a solicitor. What do you mean by solicitor? Advocate, lawyer, vakil. He is a solicitor, an, an advocate. But in addition to this practice at the courts, in addition, kodade, adu kodade, kodi, additional ayi. In addition to his practice at the courts, found time to act as the director of a charitable organization. Director. You know, director. Director of a charitable organization. What do you mean by charitable organization? Paisa ingotu vangade matrulla varka sahayam nalgunna sanghanana. Angani yustabhanathe yana charitable organization in the varay. Charity. Onnum Inota Pradipalam Pradichi Kade, Matulavaka Sahai and Jayana Ridi. That is charity, charitable. Charitable organization devoted to the care of boys and girls. Devoted to Adinu Vendi Matram. Devoted to Unnu Vendi Matram Uladiniana. Devoted in the Varina. Devoted. Devoted to the care of boys and girls. Arkavendila charitable organization and boys and girls, children. That means children, youth. Yubajanangalkam kutigalkam. Mostly from city slums. City slums. Slum Cheri Pradesha. Uribada Pahopata Alka Tamasikina Pradesha. A Vida Boli Nalur Vida Boli Milada. Madari Buthimut and Pavikina, Sambatigamayim, Samu Himayim, Buthimut and Pavikina, Alkar Tamasikina, Pradesham, slums, Cheri Pradesham. Abade Ula Kutilka. So this Mr. and Mrs. John are working for the boys and girls from slum, slum media, who had fallen under the ban of the law. Who had fallen under the ban of the law. Ban of the law, law name. Niamam ban jeda, Niamam nirodhi kepatalka, Niamam korachalka re nirodhi kepatitum, that means kutavalega. Jailidum matingadakana alega. Kutigal, Padaneta vessel tarila kutigal kutan jaydal, a jailil ella kundabua, juvenile home in the Varaina Stalatana. Kutigal kutigal kutan jeda kundabu in the Stalavana, kutti kutavalega. Avade suchikina stalavana juvenile. Home. Avade avare, nulla idi like a nulla perimata the lake, nulla subhava the lake, marty the canula Pravatanangalan and a canada. So Angani Ulavare, Angani Ulavare de Chayamatini. The organization, the charitable organization is working for uh, the children, those who are fallen under the ban of the law. Okay. Next paragraph. As he spoke with real feeling, I got a vivid picture of the work these two people were doing. I learned how they took derelict adolescents from the juvenile courts and placing them in a healthy environment, healed them in mind and body and sent them back into the work, into the world. They were given training in a useful handicraft which made them fit to take their place as worthy members of the community. It was a work of redemption that stood the heart and I asked what had directed his life into this channel. Okay. As he spoke with real feeling, he is an honest person, he is speaking with real feeling, as he spoke with real feeling, I got a vivid picture. Vivid. What do you mean by vivid? Clear. 
വ്യക്തമായ ക്ലിയർ വെരി ക്ലിയർ വിവിഡ് വിവിഡ് പിക്ചർ ഓഫ് ദ വർക്ക് ദീസ് ടു പീപ്പിൾ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ഐ ലേൺ ഹൗ ദേ ടുക്ക് ദ റിലിക്ട് എഡോളസൻസ് ദ റിലിക്ട് എഡോളസൻസ് ദ റിലിക്ട് സേ ദ വേർഡ് ദ റിലിക്ട് വൺസ് മോർ പ്ലീസ് ദ റിലിക്ട് ദ റിലിക്ട് വൺസ് മോർ adolescents 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 once more please adolescent okay derelict adolescents adolescents means uh, children uh, of uh, age between 11 or 13 13 to 19 that is teenage adolescent or 11 to 19 that is adolescent period okay so you are in a, in the adolescent period are you uh, how old are you my dears yes 14 or 15 or 16 years old so you are uh, in the adolescent period of your life okay so what do you mean the relict adolescent the relict adolescent derelict adolescence means children in a bad condition children that is adolescent children in a bad condition derelict derelict means in a bad condition once more say the word derelict what do you mean what do you mean by derelict in a bad condition okay yes so they took derelict adolescents from the juvenile courts juvenile courts i have told you what do you mean by juvenile courts where the uh, what kutti kutta valigale vicharana cheyugaya avare kuriche avare kuttangale kurichulla vicharana nadakkunna sthalamana juvenile court okay juvenile court and placing them in a healthy environment healthy what do you mean by healthy yes aarogyamulla aarogyam sharirathinu maatram madiyo ശരീരത്തിനും മനസ്സിനും ഒരുപോലെ ആരോഗ്യമുണ്ടെങ്കിലേ നമുക്ക് സന്തോഷമായും സമാധാനമായും ജീവിക്കാൻ കഴിയൂ സോ ഹെൽത്ത് ഫോർ ബോഡി ആൻഡ് മൈൻഡ് ബോഡി ആൻഡ് മൈൻഡ് സോ ദേ മിസ്റ്റർ ആൻഡ് മിസ്സിസ് ജോൺ ടുക്ക് ദോസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഫ്രം ദ ജുവനൈൽ കോർട്ട് ഫ്രം ദ ജയിൽ ഓർ ഫ്രം ദ കോർട്ട് and they place them in a healthy environment environment nalla oru situation nalla aarogyakaramaya oru situation il avare kondu varum angane oru sthalathe charitable organization don't you remember yeah aa sthalanga aa sthalatheke avare kondu varigeyum heal them in mind and body that is heal them heal what do you mean by heal rogam maati edukkunnadiniyana heal cheyuga nu parayunnathu രോഗശമനം വരുത്തുക അപ്പോൾ ഹീൽ ദം ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ബോഡി ശരീരത്തെയും മനസ്സിനെയും സുഖപ്പെടുത്തുക ആ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ വേർഡ് ഹീൽ സുഖപ്പെടുത്തുക ഹീൽ മനസ്സിന് മാത്രം ശരീരത്തിന് മാത്രം മതിയോ സുഖം നോ മനസ്സും സുഖകരമായിരിക്കണം സോ ഹീൽ ദം ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ബോഡി കുറ്റം ചെയ്ത ഒരാൾ അതൊരു കുട്ടിയാവുമ്പോൾ അവരുടെ കുട്ടികൾ കുറ്റം ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അത് മിക്കപ്പോഴും അറിവില്ലായ്മ കൊണ്ടോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റാരുടെയെങ്കിലും പ്രേരണ കൊണ്ടോ ഒക്കെ ആയിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ അവരെ വിചാരണ ചെയ്യുകയും അവരെ കുറ്റപ്പെടുത്തുകയും ഒക്കെ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ വീണ്ടും അവരുടെ മനസ്സിനും മുറിവേൽക്കും ഇപ്പോൾ സ്ലം ചേരി പ്രദേശത്തൊക്കെ ആഹാരം കിട്ടാതെ വരുമ്പോൾ അവരുടെ ശരീരത്തിനും ആരോഗ്യമുണ്ടാവില്ല അപ്പോൾ മനസ്സും മുറിവേറ്റതാവും ശരീരവും ആരോഗ്യമില്ലാത്തതാവും ഇത് രണ്ടും കൂടെ ആവുമ്പോഴാണ് കുറ്റം ചെയ്യാനും മറ്റുള്ളവരെ ഉപദ്രവിക്കാനും ഒക്കെയുള്ള ഒരു മനസ്സ് ഉണ്ടാവുക പക്ഷേ ശരീരത്തിന് ആരോഗ്യവും മനസ്സിനും ആരോഗ്യവും സുഖവും ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ നന്മ ചെയ്യാനാണ് കൂടുതൽ ശ്രമിക്കുക അപ്പോൾ അത്തരത്തിൽ സോ മിസ്റ്റർ ആൻഡ് മിസ്സിസ് ജോൺ ട്രൈ ടു ഹീൽ ദം ഇൻ ബോഡി ആൻഡ് മൈൻഡ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ബോഡി ബട്ട് ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് ടു ശരീരത്തിനും മനസ്സിനും സ്വസ്ഥമാക്കുക സുഖം നൽകുക സുഖപ്പെടുത്തുക ഓക്കെ ബോഡി ആൻഡ് ഹീൽ ദം ഇൻ ബോഡി ആൻഡ് മൈൻഡ് 
and send them back into the wall. Send them back into the wall. In them a charitable organization and they'll come to No. They will be sent back to the world. How? Listen. They were given training in a useful handicraft. They will they were given training in a useful handicraft. What do you mean handicraft? Kaitodil. In the Ingilamuri Kaitodil Kaitodil Avarka training Nelgo. That's a job, that's a work. So they will get income from this handicraft. Thus they can live happily and confidently in the world. That is. They were given training in a useful handicraft which made them fit to take their place as worthy members of the community. That make them fit, fit, suitable. What do you mean by fit? Suitable. Yojicha. To take their place as worthy members. Worthy. Valuable. Worthy means valuable. Mulya mulla. Members of the community. So they have a uh, job, they have a work, and so they can get income. So they are a, they are valuable members of the society. At first, uh, they were criminals. At the first stage, they were criminals. But people can change. Manishina maran kariyam. Adam nam man avanavan vijayaricha petta na maran kariyam. Po nalla nannaite namalode peri maran na namalode snehavum bhumaanevum. Namukka nanmagalan cheyda thele na arkar namalode po mundengil tetti cheyda varka mari nanmeele ke veeran kariyam. Tetti cheyda var ennam tetti cheyda onde irikinam ennano. Alla we can change. People can change. Avanavan Vijarichan, Marga Yanada, Vriputimutula Kariami Ella. So these people, these children, the, the, these derelict adolescents also change into good people. Those who are useful to society. That is the point. Useful to society. It was a work of redemption that stood the heart. It was a work of redemption. Say this word please. Redemption. Once more. Redemption. What do you mean by redemption? Redemption means a state of being served from the power of evil. Tinmail ninnulla rechapada. Redemption that is. So this is a work of redemption that stirred the heart. And I asked. What had directed this his life into this channel? Channel, way, path. directed. directed. Direction. Don't you know direction? There are four directions. Ah. East, West, North, South. News. N. North. E. East. W West Yes South News That is News Okay So uh, Here The Director Disha Dirichi Vittada E Vali Leke Disha Dirichi Vittada What Indana I asked Dr. Browning Asked Mr. John Okay The question Had a strange Effect Upon him He took A sharp breath And exclaimed you still do not remember me? I shook my head. To the best of my belief, I had never in my life seen him before. Okay. The question had a strange effect upon him. Strange. What do you mean strange? Vichitra Maya. Effect. Reflect in Naki. So, AJ Cronin asked Mr. John. What uh, did direct you to this channel of helping derelict adolescents? What uh, made you help these adolescent children, adolescent criminals? 
and help them uh, to go back to the society as good persons. Why? Why are you doing this? A.J. Cronin asked Mr. John. And listen, hearing this question, Mr. John become a strange effect. There is a strange effect on his face. He took a sharp breath. Sharp breath. <laughs> that is. Took a sharp breath and exclaimed. 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 You still do not remember me? You still do not remember me? Can't you remember me? I shook my head. Shook like this. Shook my head. Shake in the past tense and shook. I shook my head. To the best of my belief, I had never in my life seen him before. That is. Next paragraph. I have wanted to get in touch with you for many years. He went on under increasing stress. But I was never able to bring myself to do so. Then, bending near, he spoke his few words tensely in my ear. At that, slowly the veils parted. My thoughts spread back to a quarter of a century and with a start I remembered the sole occasion when I had seen this man before. I have wanted to get in touch with you for many years, he went on. I wanted to get in touch with you, get in touch with, get in touch with, contact, contact, kattiludeyo, phoneiludeyo, orale, contact in the yana, get in touch with, is the, that is the meaning, okay, get in touch with, I wanted to get in touch with you for many years, for many years, I am trying to contact you, for many years, many and many years, for 15 years, I am trying to uh, contact you. That is, he went on, went on, what in went on? It's a phrasal verb, went on. I hope um, we discussed it in the last class, went on, continued, continued, okay. And her increasing stress, increasing stress, increasing, kudna, vartikina, stress, tension. Uh, this is a man of stress. Uh, there is a there is the tension in his face also. And when Dr. A. J. Cronin asked him, uh, why you are helping these adolescent children, his stress increased. Okay, increased, but even be increased, what did you do? But I was never able to bring myself to do so. I was never able to bring myself, bring myself to do. Bring myself to do. Bring up to that. In case of any kind of change, I can't do anything about it. That's all. I was never able to bring myself to do so. Contact to do phone to do it, or to do it, or to do it. But I didn't do it. Why? Don't you remember? He is a reserved person. He is a shy person. That's why. Class, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That is, you cannot bring yourself up to that. You are not confident. Here also that. Uh, Mr. John is not confident enough to write to A.J. Cronin or to call him, to make a call to A.J. Cronin. He is not confident enough. Okay. So, my dears, you will be confident enough 
to do things to bring you up to do things okay that that is good uh, the other thing is not good okay remember it okay ah i was never able to bring myself to do so then bending near he spoke a few words tensely in my ear then bending near bending yeah kuninju und bending near he spoke a few words tensely in my ear tensely tension odu kodi in my ear whisper at that at that adu paranja pol appol at that adu paranja pol slowly the veils parted the veils what in the veils moodu padam write down the meaning veils moodu padam parted curtain neengnadu kandittille ingane rendu vasithekke parted here veils parted moodu padam maari the veil veils of memory maraviyude moodu padam maari orma telinju vannu that is he that is aj cronin remembered something when mr john whispered a thing to his ear aj cronin remembered something okay let us see what it is at that slowly the veils parted my thoughts sped back to a quarter of a century my thoughts sped back sped back or you will sped back puragotu poi a quarter of a century 25 varsham puragotu a quarter of a century a century is yeah it is the uh, 100 years so a quarter of a century 25 years that's all so my thoughts sped back to a quarter of a century quarter of a century and with a start i remembered the sole occasion when i had seen this man before with a start with a surprise start here means surprise with a surprise i remembered the sole occasion soul is so in the soul only one ഏകമായ ഒറ്റ ഒരേ ഒരു സോൾ സോൾ ഒക്കേഷൻ ഒക്കേഷൻ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ സന്ദർഭം വെൻ ഐ ഹാഡ് സീൻ ദിസ് മാൻ ബിഫോർ സോ എ ജെ ക്രോണിൻ ഹാഡ് മെറ്റ് മിസ്റ്റർ ജോൺ ബിഫോർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ഇയേഴ്സ് എ ഗോ ബട്ട് ഓൺലി വൺസ് ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് എസ് സി വോട്ട് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഒക്കേഷൻ റെഡി I was a young doctor at the time and had just set up a practice in a working class district of London. On a foggy November night, towards 1 o'clock, I was awakened by a loud banging on the door. Hurriedly, I threw on some clothes and went downstairs. It was a sergeant of police in tripping helmet and cape, misly outlined on the doorstep. a suicide case he told me abruptly in the lounging around the corner i had better come at once okay i was a young doctor at that time and i had just set up a practice in a working class district of london working class district joli ulla aalka thamasikkuna stalam that is working class district of london and aj crowning was a doctor a young doctor Don't you remember our homeopathy doctor? <laughs> yeah. Like that, he also is a young doctor, a jacronin, and had just set up a practice in a working class district of London. On a foggy November night. Foggy. What do you mean by foggy? Moodle manula. Foggy. Fog. Smog. A foggy November night. Towards 1 o'clock. So what is the time? 1 o'clock at night. I was awakened by a loud banging awakened unarthi enne unarthi aaru a loud banging banging mutta 
banging on the door. Hurriedly, I threw on some clothes. Hurriedly, quickly. What do you say? Hurriedly, quickly. Hurriedly, suddenly, or quickly. That is in a fast way. Hurriedly, through the pedal. I threw on some clothes. Threw on some clothes. Threw on. What do you say? Threw on. ये रीगा ना ना था। वस्त्र ये रीगा तो वरन्या लो। आ, थोड़ा दिन पट्टे धरी की गा। That is, I threw on some clothes and went downstairs. It was a sergeant of police, a sergeant of police, a policeman. That's all. In tripping helmet and cape, tripping, और ये भी tripping, वैल्ला मोली की ना, tripping. Helmet and cape, cape, और ये भी cape. I will show you cape. It is overcoat. Cape means overcoat. Here, look. This is an overcoat. And this also is another overcoat. Okay, that's all. Tripping helmet and cape. Why, why it is tripping? Uh, there is snow outside. Snow. Manyanda, that is. Mistly outlined on the doorstep. Mistly. Not clear. Mistly means not clear. Avyaktamayi, Vyaktamalladi. Misli outlined on the doorstep. Outlined, or outlining kaanan nulu. Avyaktamana, poorna malla, that is so. A suicide case, he told me abruptly. A suicide case, suicide, Atmahatya. A suicide case, he told me abruptly, abruptly, quickly, suddenly. In the lodgings around the corner, lodgings, Lodge, hotel, Thomas Stalem, that is not hotel, but Thomas Stalem, lodgings, around the corner. I had better come at once, at once, Petana, quickly, that's all, quickly, abruptly, suddenly, okay. I had better come at once. This is the police surgeon, surgeon. We walked the short distance in silence. Even our footsteps muffled by the fog and turned into the narrow entrance of an old building. As we mounted the creaking staircase, my nostrils were stung by a sick sweet odor of illuminating gas. On the upper story, the agitated landlady showed us to a bare little attic where, stretched on a narrow bed, lay the body of a young man. We walk the short distance in silence. We, who are we? The police surgeon and H.J. Crowning. Short, uh, walk the short distance in silence. Silence, you know. Even our footsteps muffled by the fog. Our footsteps. Kaladi Padigal. Muffled. Would it be muffled? Muffled means. To make a sound less clear. Padukkayakala. Muffled. Muffled means Kaladi Shabdam Bolum Padukkayai. Kana Manyurudi Ali Boda. Only Shabdam Gelkanela. Muffled by the fog. Modal Manya. And turned into a narrow entrance. Narrow. Or you may narrow. Idunia. Do you know the opposite of narrow? Broad. Vishala Maya. Narrow, broad. Narrow entrance. Entrance, door. Entrance means door. Narrow entrance of an old building. As we mounted the creaking staircase, mounted. Mounted means, mounted. As we mounted the creaking staircase, creaking. Shabda mundakana, creaky. That is, creaking staircase. My nostrils were stung by the sick sweet odor. My nostrils. Don't you know? Ah, these are the nostrils. We have two nostrils. One nose and two nostrils. Okay. My nostrils were stung by a sick sweet odor. Odor. Gantham. Manam. Order of illuminating gas. 
order look at the spelling of order o d o u r order o d o u r order where is order und o r d e r order this is o d o u r order what is the meaning of order manam a six sweet order of eliminating gas gas nammal adukkale ubhayikkuna lpg paajaka vaadagam adinde manam adinde gandham namukku ishta illallo oru oru valatha gandham alle that is the six sweet order of eliminating gas eliminating means prakashipikkuna gas kathichal prakasham undavallo that is eliminating gas on the upper story the agitated landlady showed us on the upper story look at the word story and look at the spelling s t o r e y story s t o r y we know s t o r y story katha but here s t o r e y story nila kettidangalde pala nilagalile that is story two storied building three storied building and our school building is three story don't you remember yeah on the upper story upper story mugalathinilla the agitated landlady agitated what is the agitated asusthamaya agitated asusthamaya okay agitated landlady showed us to a bare little attic showed us to a bare little attic 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 is a small room just under the ceiling namukku parayumbo nammala staircase inde aduthulla cheriya oru muri staircase keri chellina adutha nilayilekana avade ulla oru cheriya muri വലിയ വാതിലോ ജനലോ വാതിലോ ഒരെണ്ണം ഉണ്ടാവും ഒരുപാട് ജനലുകളോ ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാത്ത ഒരു കൊച്ചുമുറി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ബയോ ലിറ്റിൽ ആറ്റിക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ മീനിങ് അധികം സ്ഥലമോ ജനലുകളോ ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാത്ത ഒരു ചെറിയ മുറി ലിറ്റിൽ ആറ്റിക് എ ബയോ ലിറ്റിൽ ആറ്റിക് വേ ആർ സ്ട്രെച്ച്ഡ് ഓൺ എ നാരോ ബെഡ് സ്ട്രെച്ച്ഡ് നിവർത്തിയിടുക സ്ട്രെച്ച്ഡ് ഓൺ എ നാരോ ബെഡ് നാരോ ബെഡ് a small bed lay the body of a young man the body of a young man young man kidakunu nalla paranjathu pinneyo oru cherpakarinte shariram nivarthi kedathi irikkunu okay did you understand okay so that is the suicide case so uh, we are stopping today here and if you want to know what happened to the young man read the rest of the story you can read and understand or uh, you can wait for the next class okay read these paragraphs that is up to the 11th paragraph many times at least three times two times aloud and one time silent reading so i will make you read it out these paragraphs in the class So see you in the class till then bye bye